Good morning children. Now you know what is HCF. That is highest common factor. Now let us try to find out the HCF by using prime factorization method. First, let us revise what is HCF. The HCF of two or more number is the biggest number that can exactly divide all the given numbers without any remainder. Now let us find the HCF of 45 and 60. Again first we will do the prime factorization of 45. Now 45 is a odd number. So we need to divide by another odd number and we will start with the lowest one which is 3 excluding the 1. So 3 1's are 3 and 3 5's are 15. We get 15. 15 is also an odd number so we divide it by another odd number. We'll do it by 3. 3 5's are 15. Now in the last we are getting an odd number which is a prime number. So this completes our prime factorization by doing 5 1's are 5. So what did we do? We found out the prime factors of 45. So 45 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Now coming to the next number which is 60. Now 60 is an even number. So we need to divide it by the smallest even number which is 2. 60 2 3's are 6 2 zeros are 0 we get 30 30 is again an even number so 2 2 1's are 2 2 5's are 10 now here we get an odd number and 15 so we can divide it by another odd number which is 3 3 5's are 15. Lastly we get here 5 which is an odd number and also a prime number. So 5 1's are 5 and this completes the prime factorization of 60. So 60 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So this was the prime factorization of 60. Now here we see again we did prime factorization of both 45 and 60. Now what are the common factors of 45 and 60? 45 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 60 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. And what are the common factors here? 3 and 5. Now how do we get the SCF? We need to multiply the common factors of 45 and 60 which are 3 and 5. So to get HCF of 45 and 60 we need to multiply 3 and 5 which is equal to 15. So we can say HCF of 45 and 60 is 15 and we found out by using prime factorization method. So let's reiterate how to find HCF by prime factorization method. First we need to do prime factorization of the given numbers. Like for 45 we found out it is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. For 60 we found out it was equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Here all the factors are prime numbers only. Next we find the common factors. The common factors are here 3 and 5. Next what do we do? The last step is we multiply the common factors to get the HCF. So 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15 
and this is how we get HCF by using the prime factorization method. So now you know how to find the HCF by using prime factorization method. That's all for now. Bye bye children.